Hey, it's Cal here. And I wanted to do a video about uh, autism in uh, my experience and understanding the twin flame side to it, understanding the spiritual side to it, and understanding the evolutionary side to it. What is autism? Autism is a different way of thinking. It's not an illness, it's not a disorder, it's, it's not a disease. You know, it's a different neurological wiring where people think differently. And it's, it's an umbrella spectrum So, sort of way of thinking. It's 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 a neur it's a neurological different neurological wiring than the majority of of people. And I really do believe that children are evolving, and that's why we're seeing that's why we're seeing more kids born with autism. Where it's there's this evolutionary process that humans are going through, and the spiritual side of that is that our physical nature is merging with our metaphysical nature, which is this electromagnetic, organic electricity, is igniting, is igniting and amping up where we already have this bioelectric energy. It's just that we've been out of alignment with it. It hasn't really been turned on. So these children that are born, in me, you know, I was born in 90, have this awakened have this awakened subtle body this electromagnetic body and have this it fully integrated mass mind system so it's like it's like I go out in public and it's like okay now I'm like getting overloaded which is an autism they call it a sensory overload it's like I'm picking up on all the emotions particularly all of the energies and not just the people but just the senses senses as well of cars going by just just all the like chaos and it's like it's like so much for me it's like I have like really good senses but in a world where there's like this friction of people with the old neurological wiring in the systems that that neurological wiring created um, doesn't match people of this evolution of, of children that are born evolved like this and so it's like we look as we get looked upon as the ones that are disabled we get looked upon as the ones that are <laughs> we're not really able to meet that system that uh, oh look at these ducks it's really hard to meet match that system that just does not match my system, our system. And the thing is, is we're not here to do so. We're here to bring in. <laughs> the new energy. We're here to bring in the new way and to build the new things. And so going through this period of uh, turmoil, this friction of the old energy as it changes and, and dies off know how long it'll take I feel like there's gonna be a situation where it happens relatively fast and I hope so because <laughs> I'm tired of it but where does it come so to get to the twin flame aspect and that what that means is like your twin flame is gonna be your polar opposite right it's gonna be your polar opposite so me I'm really heart-centered I'm really sensitive I'm really I want to say that I'm really outgoing, but you know, also with autism, it's, it's, I don't pick up on social cues. That's something that I started to realize. It's like, I don't understand like what I say to, what I say, how other people react, but I also, I empath other people's reactions and I'm like, oh my God, like, what is this? And it's like, cause it's like, I'm part of that mass mind system. Where it's like I'm not wired to understand social cues. I'm wired to understand the energetic cues. But also going back to the friction part. Where we live in a world where people don't 
pick up on the energetic cues, let alone even see or sense energies. So, you know what I'm saying, right? So, the twin flame aspect is, when you think of like, children with Asperger's, which is the same thing as autism. A lot of them are just like, like really cognitive, really analytical, and like I feel like that's how I am as well sometimes. But it's like, it's like a puzzle piece. It's like my twin flame, she is like the polar opposite. From an energetic standpoint, it's like our energy like fits together like a puzzle piece. It's like, I'm this really like creative, Looney Tune-ish, Dr. Seuss type of energy where she is more this black and white like, like I'm the circle, she's the box. <laughs> like, but the circle is meant to circle the square and the square is meant to square the circle, right? That's a sacred geometry term, right? So that's how it relates to the twin flame. And you know, there's so many people that, that claim to be twin flames and they're not. You know, it's not easy going through this experience and let alone from the relationship part, right? Let alone from the relationship part. It's difficult. It's not easy. So, oh yeah, that's like synchronistic for that guy sweeping stuff up. <laughs> what a dream I had a while ago, about this time last year. So, Yeah, it's usually if someone's a twin flame, they're like really psychic and they usually probably have autism of some sort. And the thing is, there's a lot of people that are undiagnosed and me, myself, I was, you know, I was diagnosed with other things. It wasn't until I was older that I, real, that I started to think like, I think I might have autism. And then a few years later, it's like, until relatively least recently, it's like, whoa, I'm like autistic. That's why my life has been like this. It's not not just Tourette's or ADHD or whatever else. It's like I'm autistic, and it's I'm just, I just keep checking, make sure it's still recording. Those ducks are cool. Two ducks swimming together. <laughs> but yeah. It's just, it's almost disrespectful, but people don't, it's almost disrespectful for people to try to claim to be these spiritual people and, and, and oh, we're rainbow children, oh, we're, we're here to bring in the new age, it's like, I don't think so, not, not, not like this, it's not easy, and that's why, like, I don't know, that's why I'm doing this video, to just kind of like share and express myself, I guess, and just, just like get it, get it out to people of, of like the real deal, right? And, and right now we're really seeing the separation of who is a master and who is, you know, an angel. <laughs> who is the archangel and who are the angels, right? And I really feel like people that look so disabled are going to be the ones that are going to be thriving because that old energy is not going to work anymore and it's like we're going to be the leaders of this and so it's going to feel really good to finally like kind of step up into my place of, of who I truly am and what I'm really truly here to do and with my twin flame on my side with my companion my divine life partner on my side and in I think children with autism or true twin flames is like they literally need their puzzle piece they literally need this other person with them to feel whole and complete on this terrestrial level that and and I think for the most part anyone needs a female or a male companion whatever to feel complete on this terrestrial level but you know twin flames aside it's like so hard for me to function in the world and to be normal and it's like I just want to like have fun and go out and enjoy people enjoy people and have friends and and, and shine it's just like so hard you know so I feel like 
coming together with my twin flame will really make that a lot easier to be out in the world and be of service in something I feel like twin flames really need to be able to do their mission.